Today I'm going to be talking to you guys about pull requests and release branches. All right, so let's start with the pull request. What is a pull request? Well, in the most basic sense, uh, it allows your team to actually take a look at what you've done in your feature branch, and then uh, they can also um, you know, look at the code line by line and make comments. So what I'm going to do in this episode is I'm going to show you guys how to create a pull request. Now, if you recall in the previous episode, we created a uh, feature branch and we pushed the feature branch up into GitHub. And so today we're going to start working from GitHub and we're going to create our pull request. Let's get started. All right. So here I am uh, looking at the GitHub screen that we pushed in the previous episode. And as you can see, you'll see a button here that says new pull request. And if I go ahead and click that, what's going to happen is it's going to allow me to um, basically compare the changes. So what I generally want to do is always merge my feature branch into the develop branch, right? So the develop branch is where all the development is actually happening and it's where all the feature brands come together. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to select on the right hand side here, the feature branch that I was working on. And uh, if you take a look here, it's going to allow me to now create a pull request. And uh, the pull request, you know, it's, it, it's just basically taking the name of the branch and it's, uh, you know, like, kind of like assuming that what you want the title of this pull request to be. So generally this is pretty good. And then I might leave a comment uh, describing the feature that I'm trying to build so that, you know, the reviewer uh, has a little bit more context on what it is that, uh, you know, I'm trying to achieve with this uh, feature branch here. Uh, for this one, I'm just going to leave it empty and I'm going to click create pull request. And here we go. All right. So uh, now we've got our first pull request. And what we can do uh, is we can take a look at the commits. So we can see here there are two commits in this pull request. Uh, and uh, we can also see that um, here are all the files changes, uh, files that have been changed. So if you have a large project, you get to see a list of files and what are the lines that have changed. And check this out. I can actually comment on individual lines of code. So if you are working in a team and your team have has better suggestions on what you could do in your code, they could add it here. It's like, uh, this looks great, but maybe um, this is better. Something along those lines. And so, um, you know, what this allows us to do is actually collaborate and, you know, have a very clear view of what's going on in the actual source code. And uh, this is great for um, you know, doing like a, a, having like some sort of quality assurance uh, process before you actually merge um, your code into the, you know, the develop branch. Uh, it allows like maybe you have a senior developer taking a look at your code or um, if you have like a lead guy or a lead girl, uh, take a look at your code and comment. And what this allows us to do as developers is we can actually improve ourselves. Uh, so, you know, it's now a collaborative effort. So now you're getting suggestions from different people. Some people will be more experienced than you are. And um, so they can help you grow as, as a developer. And now it's more transparency within the team itself because the team can see exactly what you're doing. All right. So once we have a pull request, uh, the next thing is, uh, you know, we can actually merge it. So what we're going to do is we're going to hop over into our command line. And what we're going to do here is, uh, so let's say, all right, so we're clear. Uh, our, our branch is good. Uh, git flow feature finish a new feature. All right, so it's going to ask me, you know, I want, they, it's going to want to merge the feature branch into the develop branch. And so um, I can add a commit message or I don't have to if I don't want to. Uh, so I can do that down here. Just merging our new feature. I'm going to quit that out. So now uh, what's happened is locally in our computer, we have merged the feature branch into the develop branch. Now, if I take a look at my text editor here, uh, so let me move that into view. You see that even now I'm in the develop branch, I have the new feature file over here. So what happens is in GitHub, it's still lagging behind. Now I've chosen uh, to use Git flow to merge my, my pull request, which means it's only happening locally on my machine, 
which means GitHub is not yet aware. But check this out. So what I'm going to do now is git push origin develop. So I'm going to push this up into GitHub and automatically GitHub is going to recognize that I've merged my feature branch and it's going to take care of the pull request for us. So let me do a reload real quick over here. Um, still pushing. Uh, this needs to be finished and then we'll see the change. All right. So check that out. Um, GitHub automatically realizes that, hey, you know what? This feature has been merged. And I'm, so I'm going to close this pull request for you. And you can also delete the branch out from here. Now, um, deleting branches, uh, you know, different groups of people have different ways of dealing with uh, feature branches. Generally, what we do is once we've merged a branch, we can just go ahead and delete it. Some people like to keep it for archival purposes. That's entirely up to you and your team. You got to decide that on your own. All right, so I'm going to click delete branch over here. And so now, uh, we have everything merged and we can also see the closed pull request and you know, we can also go and take a look at what was commented, what was done. Uh, so all this is still here. Uh, for generally, the, the having the pull request um, marked as closed is good enough for archival purposes uh, because you know, you can still see all of it over here uh, even though the branch has been deleted. So that wraps it up for this episode. If you guys found that useful, don't forget to like this episode. Don't forget to share it with your friends and family. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And I wish you all had a happy new year. And this is the first episode of 2016. And we will have more coming very soon. Hope to see you guys in the next one.